Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is an Emmy Award winning actress and fashion icon. She currently stars in Divorce on HBO. I have no idea why you have three putters. And I am not a narcissist. I know because I read the book and I took the quiz. And yet you still thought it was about you. Oh my gosh. No, I'm not, I'm not doing this with you. I'm not doing it. Okay. You shaved your mustache. I did. It looks good. Yeah, because your your face looks, you know, like less. Is that a compliment? That sounds like a semi compliment. It, it is. Please welcome Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> I'm all turned around because this is my first time here. This is the first time we've had a chance new... to talk. I've, I've, I've had your lovely husband, Matthew Broderick, on a few times. You and I have never actually been on stage together before. Correct. In front and, of other people. Right. And Dave yes. had his desk over there. Yes. So right. I'm all... Right. So the whole um, thing is discombobulated. Yeah. Yeah. I love this outfit. Oh, thank you. You can have it when you're... When... <laughs> When I don't we're think done. I have the hips for it. <laughs> I think you might. Mm -hmm. This, what I like it is that it's it's kind of got like sort of like a, a very subdued, like sort of uh, French, uh, like a uh, 19th century schoolmaster look to it. Oh. But it's got all this glamour and sparkle to it. It's this really wonderful. It's how you uh, seduce the school children. It's how you hypnotize. Which was legal back then. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep in mind. Everything was legal you're playing back a character then. Right yes, now. yes. Um, uh, but you're a fashion icon yourself because of Sex in the City. <laughs> okay. Which, you know, obviously everybody. No, it's true. Wow. Yeah, is that nice? Oh, isn't that what nice? A fantastic ceiling. Yeah. yeah. Thank oh, you very much. It hypnotizes. You're it? looking up there because you don't want me to ask oh. you whether there's going to be a Sex in the City three. We're <laughs> well, trying to change the subject, but I'm not going to ask you. Speaking to my good ear. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to ask you about that because everybody asks you if there's going to be a Sex in the City three, and I just ask you is like, what part would I play if it was? Oh. Well, there's an opening. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> really? How? Uh, I mean, I'm uh, not. Who do I have to <laughs> act like? What, is, what would my character be like? Well, according to just. Very recent um, yeah. documentation of why yes. we're not making it. Um, yep. It's because uh, the part usually played by Kim Cattrall uh -huh. um, has been vacated. Oh. So that's what I mean. Oh, that perhaps Samantha. you want to play yeah. uh, Samantha. I'm fun enough. If, uh, <laughs> I, I'm kind of like, you know, a little slutty, kind of fun, you know. You even... <laughs> That's what it's... Know that we were in Abu Dhabi. We no. were in Abu Dhabi. You are fun in Abu Dhabi. Remember that was? Did yeah, you no, we your were second all movie? A... Yeah. Yes, we were a lot yeah. of fun in Did Abu Dhabi. Did they like you in Abu Dhabi? No, we weren't allowed in Abu Dhabi. We shot in Morocco. Pretending to be yes, in Abu yes. Dhabi. Yes, yes. The Abu oh. Dhabians did not mm -hmm, take... Mm -hmm. I think primarily, I mean, I'm just speculating, but the I think the word sex in the script, the title page, Sincerely, I think was objectionable. Wow! Just the title of the the show or the movie was uh, verboten. Oh wow! So I mean, I'm just guessing, but I, you know, it, it and maybe things have changed. I mean, there's been you progress. You could have just renamed it I'm like <laughs> Drunk White Happy Lady. <laughs> no, we thought of, we did think of that. Try to but fool that, them. <laughs> we tried to. And then to... afterwards, we go. Aha! <laughs> well. I don't want to take credit for any of the obfuscation that was plotted, mm. but I'm just saying that there was some thought about finding a more palatable way to uh, tell the truth. Um, Aren't that we all? We... <laughs> Aren't, Aren't we all looking for that on a daily basis? But this was back in the day where truth mattered, oh, you know, right. where you hung your hat sure. on there honor. There was such a thing <laughs> yeah. as truth. My apologies. You know. Honor and principle and just good old fashioned reliable. Fact checking. <laughs> Fact checking. Now uh, you got the new show on HBO is called Divorce. Yes, and it you, is. And, you, and, yes, and you've I been do. married for 20 years to the lovely and talented Matthew Broderick. Yes. Now uh, when you do a show called Yes, give it up for Matthew Broderick. 
when uh, Did you call we've him sung and danced. He is lovely oh, and talented. Yeah. We've sung and danced together yes. on this stage. Yes. Um, He's had much more time with you than I have. We're not done. <laughs> We're not done. You just stay here. We'll turn the cameras off, and you and I will just spend <laughs> the evening together. All right. Uh, if you know you've you've been married to him for 20 years, so doing a show on divorce is that like, you know, is like trying out like a fantasy camp? Like, what is it for you? <laughs> What's it like to do a show about divorce when you're not a divorced person? Um, uh, it's a well, it's a it's a nice way to learn that you'd rather not divorce because it's not pleasant. It, sure. it turns out oh. that divorce is okay. unpleasant. Um, I don't. I mean, I don't. To be honest, it doesn't really affect what happens in my home. Um, but I think it, in some ways it's a sort of subversive. Uh, uh, I don't know, it seems sort of supportive of marriage in a, in a strange way to, 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 to talk about divorce and to examine it and to see what, you know, sort of how incredibly complicated and, and unpleasant and yeah. devastating awful, you know, often. I don't know, it just seems maybe easier just to stay married. <laughs> you know, sure. just... Until just, it's not. I guess, yes. Yeah. But maybe the things that don't, like the things that bother you that don't matter, mm -hmm. maybe they actually don't matter. And maybe, therefore, this is, do you understand? You know, you know, I mean, that's really, what I'm saying is that don't get divorced unless you really are bothered by the things that don't matter. Mm -hmm. You understand? I have a friend whose father told him, imagine the thing, before you get married to someone, imagine the thing you like least about this person, multiply it by 10, <laughs> and think, could I take 50 years of that? <laughs> right. And I did that with my wife. And, and I went, thought, and I went yeah. Got it. I'm yeah. in, 100%. And I was totally right. 25 years in. Yeah. I think I got 50% left that, in the tank. You guys are 25 years? 25 years wow. Yeah. Well, That's this very fall impressive. will be 25 years. We're 25 That's very years. impressive. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so, you know, you, you, yes, you find that you have a fairly high threshold for the things that, you know, eh. Yeah. Right? Have a high threshold for pain. <laughs> That's the right thing for a marriage. Now, you've been performing. How, how old were you first started performing? Uh, I was eight. Wow. Yeah, I was I, We found, my research people found something here, and I don't know whether you know they found this, but they found that in 1983, you gave an interview. It says, actress, 18, has some regrets. Okay? I'm regretful that they gave my age yes. in 1983. That's what I regret. <laughs> Get out your calculators. <laughs> Now, the 18-year-old singer and actress, okay, who now lives in Bergen County, she missed prom. You never went to prom. This is true. And well, so why? Um, well, you know why? Actually, because I, I was shooting Footloose. I was shooting a prom scene <laughs> while missing my very own prom. Yes, and in fact, the fellow that I was going to attend prom with, who I guess could say was my boyfriend, um, he was, yeah, he was, uh, he was, uh, crown, he was crowned prom king. What was his he name? He knows who he is. Okay. Uh, his name is, uh... <laughs> he's prom king, that's he's, who he is. He's, his name is, his first name is David. Okay, King David. And, um, I saw, yes, yes. Yes? It's eternal. And I, and I, I intuited big things for him. Oh. And in fact, he was prom king. And I oh. think got a scholarship, uh, for college, too, like a lot of good. I thought you were going to say, he got a scholarship for proming. No, no, no. Yeah, he went pro. He went pro-prom I think prom he, stopped by, um, he stopped by my parents on the way to, to the prom, and um, I think they brought my dress out on a hanger to show him what, you would what, have the, worn. what I would have worn. Oh. And I think it was like a sort of cantaloupe uh, colored silk, either like a Gunny sacks or a Laura Ashley, you know, dress. Oh, and I think about it now, and it was like super chaste, like really covered, like <laughs> really covered, like like very proper. I, I heard that you 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 never went to prom. I didn't go to prom. And there so I things. was wondering whether you would go to prom with me. <laughs> well, of course, on behalf of I all got, the millions I got you. <gasps> of Americans. Little... Thank you. Okay, oh, there how you go. Lovely. Hold on, we need a prom oh, photo. Oh, it's classic. Oh, thank you. Which side do we stand? Oh, I don't care. Okay. As long as you can see this. What's a prom photo typically like? Oh, you know what? So I should be like, like, should it be like? Oh my God. <laughs> my mic. Ready? Is it this way?
next Sunday on HBO. And Sarah Jessica Parker, everybody, we'll be right back with you. Wow, what a cliffhanger. What's going to happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.